And then the last category of ratios when analyzing financial performance is cash flow related ratios. And these ratios analyze the ability of the entity to generate cash. So if you've been provided with the statement of cash flows, based on the information provided, you should assess whether there are any specific areas that need to be analyzed further. In addition to that, you can calculate operating cash flow to operating profit. Please note we have already discussed this ratio when we looked at profitability ratios. So refer back to profitability ratios for the discussion, please. But just note that operating cash flow to operating profit can either be discussed under the category profitability ratios, or it can also be discussed in the category cash flow related ratios. Then you can calculate operating cash flows to total debt. And this ratio indicates the entity's ability to cover its total debt with cash derived from operations. So that's the interpretation. And you can see that in the calculation. We take cash flow from operations and we divide by total debt. So this ratio tells us the company's ability to cover its total debt with cash derived from operations. You can then also calculate cash revenue to reported revenue, or in other words, the percentage of cash sales. So this is a very simple calculation, guys. If you are trying to calculate the percentage of cash sales, you just take cash revenue and you divide by the total reported revenue, and that will give you the percentage of cash sales. Then lastly, you can customize ratios in other categories to focus on cash. So for example, guys, we know if we want to calculate the interest cover, we take EBIT and we divide by total finance costs. So if you want to customize this ratio to focus on cash, all you need to do is you need to eliminate non-cash items from EBIT. So eliminate depreciation, for example, so that you are sitting with cash EBIT. Then take cash EBIT and divide by total finance costs so that you can get the cash interest cover. Or another example is the dividend cover. We know that you calculate the dividend cover by taking earnings and dividing by the dividend. So if you want to customize this ratio so that it focuses on cash, you just need to eliminate non-cash items from earnings. And you can then calculate the cash dividend cover. In addition to that, please note, various liquidity ratios can also be calculated depending on the marks available and the information provided.